What's up, YouTube? It's your boy AJ, the Black World Traveler. And uh, I'm gonna give you a video today about dating in Panama. And this is for single men or honestly men who basically, you know, wanna come here and they, you know, decide to go date. I'm gonna give you my assessment on the pros and the cons of my experience. Okay, guys, before I break it down to you, uh, if you're on a dating site, for instance, if you're on Tinder, set your location to the place you're traveling to. And the reason why you want to do that, because then you'll already be in that country letting them know that you're on your way. So if you actually want to go on a date and meet somebody, you'll be getting contacts in that country already. So make sure you do that. Now, let me take you to the pros and the cons of this video. Number one, women are very, very beautiful here. They are very, very beautiful. A lot of beautiful, curvaceous women. Um, most of the uh, population are brown skinned people, of course. Uh, so you get more of the Afro, um, Afro Panamanian, some of the indigenous Panamanian, and a lot of the mix. So you get a lot of beautiful, beautiful women. Uh, curvaceous, like big butts, big legs, small stomachs. Big breasts, I mean, beautiful faces, long hair. Like, this is the pros of it. Women are very, very, very beautiful. Number two, women are very affectionate. Very affectionate, kissing, hugging. It's just part of the culture. Um, it's what you're gonna get. And you hear you're gonna get that because that's just the culture in Latin America. In the, the culture in general, the, the women like you, they're really attentive to you. Um, that's another good thing about it. Uh, my third thing is that some women like to come to the crib and kick it, you know. They want to come to the crib, you go out to a date, you know, they want to come kick it, they want to have some fun, you know, watch the movies or whatever, or whatever y'all decide to do, because you're all grown, so you do what you want. Uh, that's the main thing about it. Uh, another thing about Panama, when you meet women on the dating sites, they will take you out. That's a real plus to me. Every single woman that I met, they were so interested in taking you out and showing you the city or showing you the country. That's very, very important to me because all my connections, basically every person that I connected here was mostly women. Well, all women. I, I mean, Tinder was my navigation, basically, to learn the city and to learn how to get around Panama. Uh, when I went on dates, most times women were like, well, let's go to this mall or let's go to the, you know, Casca Viejo or let's go to Casaway. They would, you know, pick the choices in the city. You know, uh, I've been to nightclubs. I've been to, like, lounge bars. It's a very, very cool city here, man. And the women will take you there. And, you know, to me, women are just more entertaining than men. Uh, their agenda is different. That's another thing. They're very, you know, attentive to that. Okay, another thing that's a plus is that if you got your game tight and you really just trying to, you know, get out on something physical, you know, some are with it, some are not, uh, you will know the difference. Uh, when you're online, you'll notice it. Fifth thing, when you're online and you're on the dating sites, you will see a lot of bad, bad women. I'm talking about amazingly beautiful. And you can kind of tell, you know, they're very, they will communicate. They're, um, a lot of them are pretty attentive, you know, if they really like you. Uh, the thing about it, the positive thing here is that if you click with a woman within an hour, you might have her number. I mean, basically, everybody does things on WhatsApp. So if they're feeling you, they'll say, well, here, let's hook up. Well, here's my WhatsApp number. They'll give you the WhatsApp, and then that gives you the access to contact them directly outside of the site, which is very, very common. And they will flirt. They will flirt. That's a pro here for real. They will flirt. They'll make themselves notice. I'm in the gym, bro. Especially if you go in the gym with another female. Oh, bro. They just, man, these chickens be on the side of the gym. And as soon as you look around, just see you with a female, they'll just pop it right in front of you working out. Thick as, this, this thick as hell, like making themselves noticeable, bro. This is one thing they will do. They will make themselves noticeable. If they see you with another female and they feeling you, they would come up, they, they, they like my little swag, they'd be looking at me. I mean, I, I took a female in the gym with me, and the girl was just, she made herself notice, but I seen her the whole time, and then she was super thick. Oh, she was so bad, and and then she seen me with the girl, and then she just ended up coming right in front of us, looking at me like, wow, understanding that we're all human. 
And the thing about it is that people are people, man. You, yeah, we're attracted to people in other places. Usually you are attracted to women from other countries and other cultures because it's how it is. So you will get that. You know, a lot of times they know you American or European or if you anything outside of Latin America, yeah, you sometimes you will get, you know, the attention you want because you're different. Same as if a woman comes to our country, they come to the U.S. You meet a woman from Germany or France or, you know, Africa or, you know, Bolivia or Colombia. We usually get a lot more attracted because, you know, and that's, that goes for men and women because we just attracted to people that's from different places. That's how it is.